Hey everybody, Happy New Year. And today we're going to continue our series on ideas from the film world that can help us with our novel writing. And today we're going to focus on Blake Snyder's Save the Cat book and his 10 story genres. In fact, we're going to do this over the next several drops. And what Snyder does is he creates these genres and breaks down story arcs. And I think it's brilliant that he gives us three basic tenets for each of the 10 story genres to be able to tell and think about what we're writing. And this is really helpful when we're working on an early draft where we don't quite know what the theme is yet. And it can help along the way as well if we want to refine or even change the theme. Again, it's tools, not rules, like our friends at Pixar say. And so what Snyder does in these genres is he gives us a way to look at our stories and it's really helpful. I know in my first novel, Your Corner Dark, I wrote a coming of age story, but it climaxed in the mid at the midpoint. So what I did was I took a look at the story genres that Snyder had and realized that my character had been left in stuck in an institution. And Snyder has a genre called institutionalized where the character has to either join the institution, break down the institution, or commit suicide. So I was able to take my coming of age story and then complete it with an institutionalized story. And again, tools, not rules, right? So now let's talk about Snyder's monster in the house genre. This one is very similar in movies uh, like Alien, Saw, uh, you know, Freddy Krueger and all movies like that. There's, in the novel world, one that comes to mind for me is we have always lived in the castle. But let's go over the three basic tenets that Snyder has for the monster in the house genre. So here's an exercise to try to see if you have a monster in your house. 